All right, so it's 2025, and yeah. everyone's talking about AI agents, right? Yeah. But we don't just want to talk about them. We want to build them. Exactly. That's what this deep dive is all about. we got this awesome article all about creating your own AI agents. and uh, it's Pretty dense. Yeah, it's a lot to take in. So we're going to break down for you, make it fun, make it, you know, understandable. Actionable. Actionable, yeah. And the best part is there are so many platforms out there to help you do this. The article focuses on three specifically. Replit. And Ace. And Make. And they all cater to different levels of coding experience. So whether you're a coding whiz or, you know, like me, you can still get in on the action. Absolutely. So first up, we've got Replit. Okay. This one is kind of like the coder's playground. Yep. So if you're comfortable with, you know, Python, APIs, all that good stuff. Replit is for you. It's cloud-based. You can write your code, run it instantly, even deploy your agents as web apps or bots all in one place. Okay. I'm imagining, I'm a lawyer, right? Okay. Yeah. Drowning in legal documents. Right. And I need an AI to like, you know, summarize the key points, find precedents, all that stuff. Exactly. But how would Replit help me do that? Well, with Replit, you could actually write the code to extract the text from all those documents. Then you could use a natural language processing API mm. to have the AI analyze it. Summarize it. Summarize it, yeah. Okay, cool. So that's Replit for our uh, more code savvy listeners. Right. But what about, you know, those of us who are maybe a little more visual? Okay, yeah. We like to, like, you know, drag and drop things, make things pretty. Right. Well, that's where NN comes in. Ooh. Okay, oh. tell me about NN. So NN is like a visual Lego set. Ooh, I like Legos. You can visually connect different services and AI tools to create these, like, powerful workflows. Workflows, okay. You don't have to write any code. So no Python. No Python. I'm already liking it better. It uses these things called nodes, which are like little drag and drop elements. Okay. Each node represents an action or a service. So give me an example. Let's yeah. say um, I'm a small business owner and I'm getting all these customer feedback emails. Right. I want to quickly see, like, is this positive, negative, neutral? Right. How can N810 help me do that? So with N810, you could have one node that's your Gmail account. Okay. Another node is a sentiment analysis AI. Got it. You connect them. N810 automatically processes the emails, figures out the sentiment, organizes it for you. No coding required. No coding required. Amazing. Okay. So that's N8N. Yeah. Our visual builder. Mm -hmm. But let's go even further. Let's say I don't know anything about coding. Okay. I don't even want to deal with nodes. All right. I just want to use AI. Ah. You know, like drag, drop, connect, done. I got What's it. out there for me? That's where Make comes in, formerly known as Integromat. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is truly a no-code platform. Okay. Super powerful. Give me an example. Okay. Imagine you want to personalize the marketing for your online store. Okay. Send emails with product recommendations based on each customer. I would love that. Right. But I don't know how to do that. Well, with Mantix... You can connect your customer database yeah. to an AI that analyzes their purchase history. Okay. And then it generates the recommendations. You just visually build it. No. It's like a little AI powered marketing machine. And no code. No code. That's incredible. Yeah. So we've got Replit for our coders. Yep. NANN for the visual builders. Uh huh. Make for the no code champions. Exactly. And there are even more platforms mentioned in this article. Dialogflow. Microsoft Power Automate. Zapier. Bubble. So many options. Yeah. It's really amazing how accessible this is becoming. Yeah. And it's not just about the platform, right? The cool thing is, regardless of which one you choose, the steps are basically the same. You got it. You define the task you want to automate. Right. You choose your platform. You build or train the AI model. Yeah. You integrate it into your workflow, whatever that may be. Yeah. You test it out, make sure it's doing what you want it to do. Right. And then you deploy it. You set it free. Exactly. It's like a recipe. You can adapt it to, you know, your own skill. On your goal. Yeah. So thinking about all of this, it's just so exciting. Like, what kind of AI agent would you build? Ooh, that's a good question. You know, maybe a chat bot that writes personalized bedtime stories for your kids. Oh, that's a good one. Or um, an AI that analyzes your daily schedule and tells you the best time to do your creative work. Right. Or, I don't know, the possibilities are endless. They really are. And that's the beauty of all of this. Like, in 2025, anyone can build an AI agent. Right. The real question is, what problem are you going to solve? What are you passionate about? Mm -hmm. What do you want to automate? What do you want to make better? Exactly. Well, go out there, explore these platforms, and get building. Yeah. We can't wait to see what you create. Absolutely.